Now let's break down the valuation model for Ethereum. Remember, this is not investment advice. It's a demonstration to show the economics of one cryptocurrency. Every token has its own model. You can use this as a template to ha on how to model other currencies or other tokens. Um, but again, you can just break down what's happening here uh, in Ethereum and then use that as a reference point for other tokens. So Ethereum's intrinsic value comes from it being an income producing asset. It can be valued on cash flows. And remember, this is transparent and on chain, so you can actually monitor what's happening in real time and the network fees that are being generated today in the system uh, on the uh, on the on the internet um, at the current moment. So the network has network value. Um, every time a node is added to the system, it increases the level of uh, competitive edge uh, or the moat that the system has. Uh, Ethereum has scarcity and security going for it and has been upgrading the system for the past several years. So two notable aspects for Ethereum upgrade from Ethereum upgrades are the reduction in transaction fees and the goal to become more energy efficient, which I think are two notable traits, which are very distinct compared when you compare it to other blockchain networks. So my thesis is that we'll see a massive increase in scalability in Ethereum when the consensus layer merge or the upgrade happens in 2022. These upgrades in the consensus layer will allow for users to pay lower fees, number one. And then number two is actually use the security features of Ethereum. So what will happen is that uh, there'll be a lot more activities and a lot more applications being built on the Ethereum network mid 2022. And uh, those applications will use Ethereum as a security feature. So because Ethereum is the most secure protocol after Bitcoin, it has a lot of com uh, competitive advantages that other tokens simply don't have. Uh, and the reduction in fees is a big, big change. This all happens because it's moving from the proof of work to proof of stake. So last summer in 2021, Ethereum owners uh, did a, a, one upgrade to the system called EIP-1559. They started buying back um, Ethereum, meaning they were burn, actually burning Ethereum in the market, and the, all of the value accrued to the current uh, Ethereum holders. So s stakers, because they're moving from proof of work to proof of stake, the stakers are starting to get a piece of the unburned part of the transaction fees. And the profits are just being distributed in two ways. Uh, number one, fees are being burned, so your asset is going up in value, it's deflationary, so there's less supply available in the market. Um, and then two is direct, the fees are going straight back to the stakers and they're getting rewarded for validating blocks on chain. Now to reiterate the security protocols of Ethereum, it's a very high priority for the Ethereum developers. And this is the second most secure and decentralized network after Bitcoin. So nobody else has that competitive advantage. The number of validators on system is, is second after Bitcoin. It's very high and they're all incentivized to uh, create accuracy and, and at a high speed. So the honest behavior uh, definitely reiterates the security features of the blockchain. So I think that's important in Ethereum when you're thinking about, oh, am I investing in scalability or am I investing in security? Since Ethereum values security first, it's a good place to put your money in that sense, and then they're focusing on scalability next. So does Ethereum make money? Yes. Uh, in 2022, it'll make $14 billion. I'll show in the next section that it's making about a billion dollars plus a month in fees. All validators are uh, paying the cost. So they're staking, right now they're mining, but when they move to staking, they're paying for all the cost. And the network itself has no costs. So every individual node is carrying that load and uh, it's very profitable for them to do this uh, today. So the system does make money and it's easy to record uh, any of this on chain. It's able to ver ver easy to verify and to identify where the money's going, who's making it. And if you're a staker or a user of Ethereum, how the money is flowing in the network itself.